the critical mind can only now be produced in institutions other than those of traditional education because although I spent most of my life in um, uh, uh, universities and in traditional educational institutions, I have to say that among the changes of the last 20 years which have been the most regressive has been the remodeling of educational institutions as industries. The remodeling of educational uh, institutions as market oriented institutions. That's to say with internal profit uh, um, fantasy sort of profits that they make. Re the key, one of the key errors I think of the last 20 years, it was quite different from deregulating markets, is that all social institutions have to be restructured as markets. In the n and, and that means an incredible hollowing out of ethos. I was lucky enough to go to a traditional institution in, in which that had not yet happened. A traditional grammar school in Britain followed by a traditional Oxford College, not from a background where I could have, my family could afford that. But even if issues of access which have gotten worse with the increasing inequality of, modern, of recent times were resolved, what you would go to, all these institutions have been to some extent deformed. Not to say that there were no problems, there were all kinds of problems, they were, were, they were opaque, there were various difficulties of many, many kinds, one needn't have any nostalgic view of them. But the key element which is lost, and the key is, is the idea of institutions with their own ethos and with having a non-market ethos. And that, I think, in education would include, as in a critical element, the inculcation of um, sceptical thinking, the inculcation of a disciplined sort of thinking in which the fact that you want something or hope for it is not by itself a reason for thinking that it will and can happen.